Hey there, everybody. This is CP Cards and Dice. Um, I'm seeing everything upside down. I don't know if it's showing upside down. I got a brand new camera. I got two cameras now because I've been uh, streaming from outdoors. So I got a camera outdoors and now I got another camera indoors. Um, so it looks like it's, to me, it looks like upside down. I don't know what it looks like to you. <laughs> Yes, it's upside down. Okay, so plan B here. Let's see if we can flip this thing. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. All right, wait a second. Um, let's go this way. All right, and this should work. Let's see. There we go. We figured it out. <laughs> oh, no, we did not. It's still upside down, right? What do you say now, Richard? Is it upside down? What's it look like now, my friend? Uh, let's see. No, it just looks weird. No, that's right. Okay. All right. Let me try to get the. I've got a couple things going on here. Like I said, this is a. I had construction in my place, and we're going to have some issues, some lighting issues, till I can get it all figured out. Let me try to bring the light closer to the camera to see if we get that. Uh, you know what I do? Oh, wait a second. There we go. All right. So I'm still not happy with the angle here. Let's get that going. There we go. Um, let's bring it out a little bit more. Let's bring this in a little bit. There we go. We're trying to set up here a new camera, a new spot, new location. We got a second camera now. We're getting big time. And uh, all right. <clears throat> so let's look at where we are here in this game. I decided I was going to use Status Pro Baseball to replay the 2020 World Series, and this is the first game. Now, I just guessed that the starters, Kershaw versus, it was Kershaw versus uh, Glass now. I just took a guess at that. And uh, right now, we are in the top of the seventh, played six innings, and Kershaw struck out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in six innings. And he is right about to be tired. He's almost there. One more batter and he, uh, one more hit walk, um, and he'll be he'll be tired, fatigued, and we'll pull him. Glass now went three and two thirds, and then he was pulled. Fairbanks came in, and Fairbanks is still okay. He's hanging in there. I believe he's at a three uh, pitcher reduction rate. That's this is a, a status pro thing. He keeps track of of all that for you. So we're in the top of the seventh. It's going to be Kiermaier versus um, Kershaw. The score is the Dodgers are up two to nothing. Corey Seager doubled in the first, and then it was Muncy who hit a two uh, a two out single to drive him home. And then uh, with two outs, Seager in the third inning doubled. And then it was Turner who doubled down the line to drive Seeger in. So twice, Corey Seeger has doubled, and he has scored both times. Zoom out a bit. All right. <clears throat> oh, this is not, let's see what happens here. All right. We got a little bit. We're backed up a little bit. There we go. All right. They're probably a little bit better now. Again, like I said, um, we got to get the right combination of stuff going on here. Got a little bit of dark patch on one side. And uh, let me see if I can fix that. There you go. All right. A little. Uh, <clears throat> All right, here goes. I already, every three innings, you're supposed to uh, shuffle up the deck. It's going to be Clayton Kershaw. I'm doing that on the right side here. You get another lamp, and I will for the right side. And uh, here goes. So it's going to be Clayton Kershaw versus Kiermaier. Let's say, well, we got to pull that. That is a uh, BD is a batting, clutch batting. 
There's nobody on. It's going to be an eight. That's going to be off Kershaw. And a 33 off Kershaw is a strikeout. So that's strikeout number 12 for Kershaw. And up comes the top of the order. Manuel Margot. 2 nothing Dodgers in the top of the seventh. It's a 10, so that's going to be off Margot's card. And a 51 is a RN, and that is a ground ball to second base. And I don't think that the second baseman, Chris Taylor, is a second base. He is a error rating zero, so he's going to handle that. For, actually, no, wait a second. Yeah, that's it. So two out. And up comes Brandon Lau. How's Brandon Lau doing in this game? Brandon Lau is two for three. The opposite of what he was doing in reality. He's been in a big slump throughout this whole series. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit more light going here. You know what? I'm going to try to move this to the to the left side because I cannot see where it is. It's on the right side. I got. I need another lamp there. I got plenty of lamps. I just got to set them up. It's a whole new office here. All right, now I can see what's going on. Lau with two outs. Here's the pitch from Kershaw. And that's a six. That's going to be off Kershaw's, Kershaw's card. That's going to be strike three, and that's 13 strikeouts for Kershaw. And he's gone seven. And uh, we should pull him pretty soon. I don't, I don't, I can't visualize anybody going more than seven innings nowadays. Just not a reality. All right, so it's Justin Turner leading off against Fairbanks. Fairbanks has gone two and a third, and we're gonna switch him out. And we are gonna bring in somebody else, like a guy like it's a close game. We're gonna bring in uh, Castillo Diaz. Um, Curtis, a guy named John Curtis is going to come in. He's got two S's in his name. So John Curtis is going to be in there, and he is a, a relief rating of seven against Justin Turner. So here goes. It's a 2-8. And the uh, pitcher, um, I guess, ability or whatever you want to call it. That's a 12. So that's going to be off Turner, a 77. He's an RP, and that is a deep drive center field. On the run is who's out there? Kiermeyer, and he runs it down for out number one. Max Muncy. going to pull a card on Max Muncy. Here's the pitch from Curtis. That's an eight. That is going to be off Curtis's card. That's an advantage in 84. And that's going to be some sort of an out. An LP is a deep fly to right. And, oh, this could be an error. Could be an error in right field. Who's out there in right field? That is Margot's in right field. Let's see what kind of an error rating he has. In right field, he's a three. So that will be an error. And um, let's see if I did that right. I believe I got a pull to see who the error is to. Oh, no, it was it was to – hold on a second. I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, it was an LP. He's a batter LP, so he drives one to right, and it's going to be an error on the right fielder. <clears throat> and then, wait a second, now I pull the error, and outfield error is a four, and then I got to look at this chart right here. So it's a fly ball. There's nobody on. Nobody on. Fly ball. And it's a four. Um, hold on. Nobody on. So we got to the nobody on chart. Here it is, the eight chart, the pink chart. And it's going to be a fly ball four. Hit gets past outfielder. Single batter to second, double batter to third. Um, error four. <clears throat> so it's going to be a hit from what I can see here, or it's going to be an error that gets past the outfielder. Maybe that's what they mean. Uh, single, no, double, triple. All right. So I don't know what the heck that means. 
<laughs> All right. Um, so it's an error four. And then it says hit past the outfielder, but then it gives you a single, a double, and a triple. So how are you supposed to know what that is? Wow, throw, the booted ball. Um, Era outfielder four. Oh, wait a second. Uh, let's see. Two to ten outfield error. I'm trying to see if there's any type of clue as to what's going on here. So I guess it's, it could be a range error, maybe a range uh, play. I don't know, but how do you know if it's a single, double, or a triple? I'm totally this is this totally stumped me. I don't normally get stumped like this, but this is totally stumped me. Let me see an error for I feel it kicks the ball runner scores. You see that makes sense. Uh, 220, yes, 220 cards there, uh, Michael. Definitely 220 cards. This is fascinating. Here it says, error four, hit gets past outfielder. Okay, I get that. A single batter to second, a double batter to third, a triple. How will I know if it's a single, double, or triple? How the hell will I know that? This is fast. You know what? I can't stop the game all night because I got to do other things. So I'm going to just take – I'm not going to take the single. I'm not going to take the triple. I'm make it a double, a two-out double. And that is really head-scratching. Again, the 70s, you know, 70s, 80s game. Um, there's nowhere else to look on here to see what uh, what is what. What is the situation? The situation is nobody on, one out. It's a, an error on a if uh, on a ball hit to right field. Um, right fielder is Margot, so it is an error. And then this is what it says: hit gets past outfielder. Okay, that makes sense. Then if it said a double, I'd know. Single, double, triple. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. All right. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. All right. So this is not going to be an error because if he had hit a single double or a triple, it would get it would get past the outfielder for an error. And then on a single, he'd go to second. On a double, he advanced. Okay, I see what. So it's basically an error and an advance, but there was no hit here. So he actually, so I guess he catches the ball. So it doesn't get past them because it's not a hit. So we're going to say he catches the ball. So F9, and we're going to move on. So once he flies out, and here is Smith. That's a 12. It's going to be off Smith's card in 85, and that's an RP. And it's a pop-up, something that <laughs> this game has a lot of, a lot of pop-ups. So no runs, no hits, top of the eighth. And we're going to bring in Jansen. We're going to bring in Jansen. Uh, you know what? Dustin May, Urias, Blake Trennan. We're going to bring in Blake Trennan. And then we'll bring in... Uh, Jensen at the end. So Blake Trennan is in there for Kershaw, and he is a five, so he doesn't go very long. And it's going to be a Rosarena, Meadows, and Choi, G-Man Choi. So here goes Blake Trennan. 
that's a Z. That's a, an unusual play. And uh, I, don't, I don't normally do that, but uh, I'm feeling a little. Let's see, a Z, unusual plays. When Z comes up, play it. Play at once, obtain a new random number for the next fast action card. Okay. It's going to be a 54, and the 54 says that consult Z chart fielding plays. And that would be, where would that be? Here it is. Z chart fielding play 45, and that is going to be a difficult ground that is short. E0 to E4. And that's Seeger. Seeger is a pretty good shortstop. He is an E5. E5, yeah. So Seeger is an E5. So what did I pull? I pulled a 45. So E4, so batter out, 6 to 3. Runners E5 to E10, infield single. Batter safe. Okay, so it's an infield single for a Rosarena. He's on a first. So now the tying run is at the plate. So the – I'll just say Blue Jays. The Rays can tie it up with one swing of the bat. you got a lot of power coming up. Here's the pitch from Trennan. We're going to move that up one. That's an eight. And that's going to be off Meadows. And a 43 is a strikeout. So Meadows mad at himself. Strikes out with a runner on first. Now G-Man Choi, another guy with a lot of power. Blake Trennan, it's going to be off of Choi's card and a 32. That's trouble. And nope, he swings and misses. So back-to-back -back Ks. And now it's going to be Willie Adamas with one on, and it's 2 nothing. Dodgers here in the top of the eighth. Willie Adamas, one swing of the back to tie it up. Let's see what happens. The pitch from Trennan. That's an 11, so it's going to be off Adamus and a 54, and that is a strikeout. So after the single, Trinan strikes out the side. No runs, one hit, none le uh, one left. So we go to bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth is going to be uh, Bunger, Pollock, and Pe uh, Peterson. All right, let's see what happens here. That's uh, John Curtis is still pitching. So we're going to let him go set another inning. Uh, nine. So it's going to be off Bellinger, 74, and that's going to be out, LP. And that is a ground ball second base. One out. Pollock is next. It's a nine. So it's going to be off Pollock. And 88, it's a righty versus a righty. That's going to be an out. He's RP, and that is grounded a short. Two down. We're in the bottom of the eight. Two nothing Dodgers. Two outs. It's Peterson against John Curtis. Here he goes. That's a seven. That's a 53. Seven, 53. And that's, oh, he gets plunked. Peterson gets plunked. He's on at first on the hit by pitch. Who's up next? It's Chris Taylor. So we're going to move that down one. And it's going to be clutch defense. Clutch defense, a 47. What? Oh, no. First, you got to find out who it's to. Clutch defense, shortstop. Shortstop is – he's a two. I, I saw that before. Uh, that's uh, Adamas. Adamas is actually a four. This is an older board. I got to update my boards. I got I got an, a new board. In other words, these, are the la uh, these cards are for the last boards that were created by the game. They went up higher. This only goes to, to clutch defense two. So let's just pull a card here. Uh, that's an 88, and that is going to be no action. Just play normal. So we're going to pull another card. Let's start again. This is going to be off the pitcher. John Curtis, a 67, and that is an out. Range play to the first baseman or, or right-handed pull hitter to the first baseman. That's a grand that's retired the side. No runs. No hits, one left, we go to the top of the ninth. And it's going to be Jansen. Let's get Jansen. So you pick up a save here in a tough situation, a 2 nothing ball game. So 
So these cards are from a guy named Roy because the uh, the other guy is a, a nut job. Uh, his name is BJY, something like that. He is a, he, he's a, he's a wackadoodle. And um, Derek from Advanced Status Pro is, is good too, but his, his cards don't come with lines, so I can't cut them. So I told him, if you put lines on your cards, I'll buy your stuff, and I'll learn a new game. All right, so it's going to be Ken, uh, Kenley Jansen coming in. Kenley Jansen is RR of three. He will be facing, who will he be facing? Wendell, Zunino, and Kiermaier. All right, so here goes. Kenley Jansen, top of the night, 2 nothing. Dodgers playing status pro a little bit slow because you know I have just pulled this out after not playing it for about six months. Here goes. It's a 10, so that's not going to be off Jansen. It's going to be off Wendell and a 27, and that is a ball that's ripped to right. And that's going to split the outfielder's roll to the wall, and it's a leadoff double for Wendell. It's the tying run at the plate. Wow. Okay, so it's a two to one, a two to nothing ball game with a leadoff batter who doubles, and he's at second base. Next is Mike Zunino. Mike Zunino has good power. That's a five. That's going to be off the pitcher, and a thirty-four is a strikeout. Big K for Jansen. Here's Kiermaier. That's a six. That's going to be off Jansen, and a forty-three is going to be a strikeout. Back-to-back -back Ks. Wow, there's a lot of strikeouts in this modern game. Nuts. Holy smokes. All right, two outs, run around second. Two to nothing, Dodgers. Top of the ninth. Last licks. So the Rays are to their last out. Ah, very good. So Mike Peterson says he played game one on roster card as well. Good stuff. So right now it's two nothing, Dodgers. And uh, I will try to play the next game uh, before... Uh, they play, you know, I want to get ahead because I always fall behind and never end up playing it because I don't feel like playing. After I know the results, I don't want to play it. So, uh, and this year has been tough to do that because there's no breaks in between the, the playoff games. There's like a playoff game every day, which is kind of cool, but it didn't give you any time. You know, if I, I have to work, so I didn't give me any time to play the game. By the time I was done with work, the game was starting. So I could play, I could cheat and play it like at lunchtime. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I cheat myself out of my lunch. All right, so it's Manuel Margot with two outs, runner at second, top of the ninth, Canley Jansen. And Margot has really good power. Uh, oh, actually, no, he, he does not have good power. He, I mean, he has the potential for good power, but he did not have good power. In 47 games, he hit one home run, batted 269. So he does not have good power. It have to be a miracle for him to hit that 34. All right, that's a Z, uh-oh. Let's have more fun with the Z chart. Let's go to the Z chart. I, I normally don't go to Z charts, but today I'm, I'm feeling frisky. All right, let's go to the Z chart. Let's see what happens here. That's a 54 Z chart. It says consult fielding plays Z chart. Fielding plays right here, Z chart. Let's pull out the card. That's a 61. It says, difficult fly to left field. Left fielder is uh, Pollock. Pollock's a good fielder. Let's see what he is. It doesn't mean much because uh, Pollock is an E4. All right, what do we pull? We pulled a 61. 61, yeah, 61. E4. Uh, so difficult fly to left, E0, E1, and left field, batter out, runners hold. E2 to E10 and left field, double to left, runners score. All right, so it's going to be a range play, basically. And that's a double, drops in there. And that scoring is number number seven. It's two to one now. And it's going to be... Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau um, is two for four. He's got two strikeouts, a double, and a single. There's two outs. Lau is up with the tying run at second base, and Margot, who's got really good speed. Margot is an A. 
um, base running speed. It's right there. See that? He's an A, and that translates to a part right here. So on a second to home on a single.